Yeah, sabi nila, you're the George Clooney of the Philippines. <laughs> And then you're big sa TikTok ngayon. You're the Tito TikToker. How did your team convince you na, James, kailangan natin ng TikTok account para sa'yo. Sumayaw-sayaw ka. <laughs> It's part of the rebranding to cater to the younger audience, di ba? And then, uh, kasama yan eh. Um, I saw you dancing in a launch ng uh, isang sasakyan. Yeah. And you're hosting that, ano, yung launch na yun. Uh, hindi tayo nagkasabay sa Tagaytay nun eh. Nasa ibang batch ako. And even the, uh, yung from BGC to Tagaytay or na ano kami sa nasugbo, hindi rin tayo nagkasabay dun. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we of course, oh. have them in batches. All right. That was uh, the, the D-Max. Uh, the D-Max yes. and the Kia um, Stonic. Uh, Stonic, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, the question was, how did they convince me to join yeah. TikTok? Um, it's a funny story, but they, nobody actually was forcing me to join TikTok. Um, my team never didn't even really bring it up to be honest um we were doing okay actually we were doing very well already um with facebook mostly just facebook was enough already but then instagram was strong already but mostly you know facebook was very very strong until december um of last year facebook put a shadow bat on the page and it was really difficult I mean, it was it was really really tough because it was unfair. I I felt it was unfair. Um, they don't give you any warning, and all of a sudden, one day, literally, all your reach is pulled out, or at least over 90% percent of your reach is just pulled like that. And you're in a pandemic. You don't have anywhere else to pivot to. You know, I'd already pivoted into this from my hostings and all my other things. I had to pivot to this, and then now that I'm doing this and it's getting a lot of traction. I got to pivot out of it because of a Facebook ban. And that's where TikTok was born because it was out of sheer, I guess, desperation or what else are you going to do? I mean, they we didn't even know how long the ban was going to be. They didn't tell us. They were just like, no, it's just your page is going to be restricted um, because of our algorithm picked up on these infringements that you did and all that. We're like, but you can't argue with a robot. So stuck. What else? They say, what is it? Uh, necessity is the mother of all invention, or <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the one that applies here, but it was sink or swim. You got you to gotta pivot again. Mm-hmm. And TikTok was where everybody was at in the pandemic. So I started an account and um, I swallowed my pride. And of course, you know, it's not, not, I thought this is not my image. This is not who I am and all that. But I started to look at it and realize, you know what? I was the one who was wrong because I judged this platform based on what one thing or two things that I saw. It's 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 actually caters to so many people. The dancing is only one small part of it. There's so many other different TikTok genres, you know. So I saw people like Mayor Isco on it, and when I saw Mayor Isco on it, it gave me the confidence to go. Maybe this is something. No, not yeah. maybe. You can definitely pull this off. You can still be a serious, credible personality with a TikTok account, be successful in both. It's just how you deliver it. So I posted my first video <laughs> and um, thankfully it went viral. It just went, com- I think it's now 2 point something million, 2.2 or 2.3 million views. And that that's in like a month or two. So it was really, really, and then it just gained traction, the other ones. So in about a couple, maybe three months or so, picked up almost 90, 85, 90,000 followers almost. And um, the views just went through the roof. You know, there's some videos there with three and a half million, some with two and a half, some with one point something. It it's just shows that if you're willing to reinvent yourself, if you're willing to adapt, there are opportunities, even for people like, like Titos, like me. I mean, you think, But you know what, Sandy, I'll, I'll give you a little tip. Because I was kind of, you know, insecure about the whole, well, what do they want to see? An old, an older guy. And TikTok is really for young people, as far as I was concerned. I'm really young. Like, my kid's young. So I was like, who wants to see this, this Tito on TikTok? It's like, well, you know what? If that's going to be your insecurity, that's going to be your personality. Live it. Celebrate it. Be the Tito of Manila. Be the Tito talker. I mean... 
embrace it. Don't, don't reject it. Don't try to fight it. That's the way people see you. Make your personality around it. So my first video was the one about um, me walking through the dinosaur uh, village in Clark. They have a dinosaur display, very big, nice one. It's called Dinosaur Island or something. And I filmed a little skit where I stormed out of the, of the park. And I had the, the staff even, like I told them what I was going to do. And I asked them to just ad lib, just, just work with me here. But I'm going to do this skit. And they did. And it was really funny. It was one take. Because I walked out and I stormed out, started throwing things. I was going, sir, no problem. What's the problem? What's the problem? I said, I'm never coming back. I'm never coming back. And the bucket's in her bucket. I said, one of the dinosaurs called me Tito. That's not acceptable. And I walked off. So, you know, it's like you got to reinvent, celebrate it. And I don't. That's what people want to see. Fine. So it became TikTok comedy. And it just kept growing from there. My next one was the one about the, the you know, getting asked for ID. I don't know if you saw that, but... I, I was in this particular chair and then right behind me, same view. I was like pretending that I was in a, a bar and I asked for a beer. And then the guy said, sir, so yeah, pero can I see some ID? I was like, ID? Why would you want to see ID? I mean, like, wow, but I'm flattered. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. It's been so long since I asked. Here you go. Do you really need it? And he goes, oh, po, sir, because it's a senior discount. Oh, no, po. so I started freaking out. So to answer your question, it's about being versatile and being able to adapt. That's going to be the biggest currency moving into the next decade. I can't give you any better advice than this. The most powerful currency you're going to have right now in the workforce is going to be your ability to pivot and adapt. And I'm already sick of the word because it's overused now, but what else are you going to use? Pivot and adapt because they're going to place more value on those skills on how you can move from one job to the next than how good you are in one particular job. Because these jobs are becoming redundant fast. We don't know, right? I mean, how many jobs have become redundant just last in one year alone? Think about that. The next decade is going to be a decade of disruption. Call centers are going to be hit hard, I'm sure, because when the BOIP sector gets hit, or sorry, the voice sector of, of these... Um, uh, BPOs get hit and replaced by AI, that's going to be devastating for the Philippines because we have such a huge investment in it. Now, hopefully this rolls out slow, but we know how the world works. The world works on greed and capitalism. And if there's a better, faster, cheaper way, that's where companies are going to go. And so if you can't adapt, I'm not trying to scare anyone. I mean, it, yeah. I'm sure there are, there are plans, but just know that if you work without that jo job security for people is how good you do your job. That's how it's going to be in the next decade. Not necessarily because this company promises this and that. You know what? They can promise all they like, but if they go bankrupt because they couldn't adapt themselves, their promise is not going to be worth very much. So where you're really going to have to invest is how you, as an individual, as a worker, market yourself and how you pivot and, mar and adapt. Because... That's where, going, that's where they're going to place all the value on.